Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed and I'm the coach contact for NC Science Olympiad. One of the things that I overlook is Avogadro. So today I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about Avogadro. So first of all, if you do not have an account with us, do not worry. We will send you an email um, and we will create that account for you. Um, in that email, you will get instructions on how to activate your account so you can use it. Or if you've already been with us or have done Science Olympiad before, um, we will link your old account to your teams so you can use that account for this tournament season. Okay, um, so when if we ask you to register for a, an account, you'll click register on this page. Um, create your username, so I'm just going to say NCSO, type in your password, Now, our generic password for um, Avag your Avogadro account, if you we've given, if we've created an account for you, is the tournament year. So remember, this is the season for 2023, and then NCSO season. So this year's password for all accounts that we've created for you is 2023 NCSO season. All lowercase and 2022 is numeric. And then I'm going to fill out an email address. And name. Okay. After you do that, go ahead and click register. And you will see this page. Um, now you will get an email on your email address that you provided to have the account activated. So go to your email. So this is the email right here. And this is what that email will look like. Um, it will be from support at avogadro.ws. Um, and then it will look like something like this. So when you get that email, go ahead and click this button right here. And you will see this pop up right here that your account is active and you can log in. So then you will use the, uh, the password that you were given before. So in this case, that's 2023 NCSO season. And then you'll log in to a page that looks like this. Now, um, if you have this page and you have not been assigned any team, please contact us so we can attach your teams for you. Um, that is not something you can do. We have to do it on our end. So please email either me at aprakash5 at ncsu.edu or the generic email account, which you guys just saw, at ncscienceolympiad at ncsu.edu. OK. Um, and then let me go ahead and link this account real quick. OK, and we're back. OK, so I'm going to click Refresh. And yep, I attached the Teams. So I'm registered right now in Charlotte Division C. If you see the wrong tournament here, please contact me at those two emails I said before, which is aprakash5 at ncsu.edu or um, ncscienceolympia at ncsu.edu. OK. Now, um, if you want to change your password, you can do that when you click Edit Profile, and then it'll give you this page. Um, you can change any detail in here, so you can change your username, you can change your full name, your email address. Um, you can provide a phone number, although it's not required. Um, you can add your Twitter username. Um, I'm personally not that active on Twitter. Uh, and then you can add um, 
you can change your password here. Now, whenever you change something, you do need your password um, that you have right now, before you change your password, to uh, make edits to your account. And then you can also add this information, which probably won't apply to um, your uh, coaches. So after uh, you do that, you can go back and if you double click on this, it will give you the tournament page. Um, when you get to this page, um, you do not have to uh, purchase this by any means, um, but you're free to do so if you want. It just makes you be able to see the scores during the award ceremony um, on your uh, device. But anyway, so let me go here. Um, we'll click Teams first. And then we have two teams here. So I have two teams for my school, which is test. And I have a varsity and a JV. So we have varsity and JV1. And I'm the coach on CSO. So I'm going to go ahead and click on varsity. OK, so we have details. Um, we have the school, the team number. So our team number is C10. Um, so this means um, I'll be in all the 1 through 10 blocks on the events. And the team name, which is the same as the school name um, for varsity. For JV, we just add the school name and then space JV1, JV2, etc. Then our group, um, make sure this is varsity if your team is varsity, JV if your team is JV, etc. And then the coach name. Um, this should be right. If it is not, please contact us. But anyway, um, and if you're, you guys are curious, um, team numbers are usually assigned alphabetically. So whenever a new school registers, the teams, um, depending on where they are in the alphabet, we shift the uh, team numbers down. So that's why they might change many times before the tournament. They're usually fixed a uh, week in advance, though, before the tournament. Um, OK, so here we're going to add in our team members. So let's go here. Um, so here we're going to type our team, our student name in that's participating. So we have a student called Test Kid. Um, now, if you do not see him here, which I do not, so we're going to add him. So we're going to click Create a User. And you do not have to fill any of this out. Um, you can just click Register. And then if you go into Test Kid, it will pop up. So we're going to click it in the drop down and then click Add. OK, so it will add it right here. And each of these boxes indicates which uh, event they're in. It's a bit misaligned. Um, can't do anything about that. But we're going to choose which event. So um, Test Kid is doing Anatomy, Dynamic Planet, and Flight. And then I'm going to choose another kid so I'm gonna choose them and add so have that and they're doing astronomy bottle rocket and forestry okay so after we go here, um, after you fill out all your team uh, participants or students, um, usually uh, in NC, um, if you're in Division B and C, our limit is 15 uh, kids per team. If you're Division A, that's 18 kids per team. Um, Division B and C is governed by national policy, so 
we cannot go above 15 teams, according, 15 students per team, according to national policy. So um, that's why that's why we have that, and then we don't have a national policy for Division A, so we allow 18. So after you fill everyone out, you can click here to return, and you can click additional team members. So if you have any alternates, feel free to add them here, or if you have any assistant coaches. So um, say I have an assistant coach. Um, you can add them right here. So go ahead and click add, and it will add it right here. Um, so we have that. Um, I would prefer you uh, only add coaches here, um, not alternates. Alternates can go here. Um, even like, so I would prefer that if you have any alternates that you need to change, you change them on here and this stays at 15. Um, I really want to emphasize that because I do not want to see more than 15 here. It'll be really hard to get, get you guys checked in when we're checking teams in the day of the tournament. So um, we just want to make sure the process is fast and we can do whatever we want. Um, that being said, uh, if you have an alternates and if if they have if they get to compete in a competition, say someone calls out sick. Um, you can add them on here the day of and then show it to us, but make sure they have a consent form. That is really important. If they do not have a consent form, we cannot allow them to compete. So, And then make sure they sign the vandalism and behavior form as well. Okay, so we've added all of our team members. Let's go ahead and go to scheduling. So here we can self-schedule for our build events. So um, actually let's go ahead and go back to teams and add in some team members under our JV. So let's see. I'm gonna say we have hit well actually. Um, before we do that, I do want to point out that um, you cannot have the same person in two teams. So you cannot have test kid in both teams. Um, let's actually go for quiz kid. So I'm going to create this real quick. So let's go ahead and add quiz kid real quick. Disease, dynamic, and actually, they're in the three events. <laughs> okay, um, so let's go back to scheduling and let's schedule other uh, varsity uh, events. So you'll notice here that we have some events scheduled already. Um, for the events that are shown here, you cannot change these. They will be grayed out. Right now they are not, but they will be. So uh, we will lock this so you cannot change this. We will change it on our end. Let me change team numbers or something like that. Um, and then for all the build events, these will be like you see them right now. And you'll be able to choose a slot for uh, the competition when you want um, your students to compete in those events. So right now we have um, all the slots open. So I'm going to choose slot 8, a 10 10 to 10 20. Um, slot 6 for this one. And We're going to choose slot 10 for flight, 11.15 to 11.30. Uh, 
um, 12 to 12, 15 for Scrambler, and um, 11 to 11, 10 for Trajectory. So once you've done all that, um, you can view the team schedule. And you'll see uh, which kid is in what event. And this is a good reference, so you might want to print this out. Very useful. Um, this will allow you to see any uh, conflicts that you might have. So for example, if we add a um, test kid in two of these events, uh, that would be a problem. Like right now, we have test kid in both of these events. So we can't have that happen. So we need to um, change test kid uh, to have him to have them do either um, code busters or anatomy and physiology. He cannot do both since uh, he's in uh, the same slot. Like he can't be in two places at once. So um, we're gonna have to move him to a different event. Then you have each kid and what event they're doing here as well. So this is really useful. And then the same thing for JV. Um, you'll notice that um, these slots are different since JV is C11 right here, right? So uh, they will have a different times for their events. They will still have the same conflicts uh, in terms of the same uh, events being during the same uh, slots, as you'll see in a second. But you need to self-schedule all the build events here. And as I told you before, that this will be grayed out the day of the competition, or when you get when self-scheduling opens. So I'm going to take slot 3, 9, 10, 10, Seven. And so if we view the team schedule for this one, you'll see that Quiz Kid is in Chem Lab. Okay, so we have a conflict here, so we have to make sure that Quiz Kid knows about that. So we can get that fixed. And yeah, so this is self scheduling. Now you can go back here and you can uh, log out. So that is all I have for um, Avogadro. If you guys have any questions about anything in Avogadro, please feel free to reach out um, at aprakas5 at ncsu.edu or NC Science Olympiad at ncsu.edu. Thank you and have fun.